We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Sackis 3. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. Okay, well we get 150 engineering research from that. That's nice. So we've finished examining that system. Let's, uh, we, we definitely want to make sure we examine the systems close to our rival over here. Rockets with Kerbal Pets. No, uh, Kerbal Pets are what keep Kerbal's company on those rockets. The squad has not revealed the actual nature of the Kerbal Pets. But I think it's safe to assume that they're cute. Afsaja Min is not in our territory yet. There's potentially eight minerals down here. We've already got one head for Tikkin. Let's see, Palomar. Uh, but they're all spread out. You see there's two minerals here, two minerals here, two minerals here, two minerals here. Not the best place to exploit them. This Hamcad would be good. Once we get the border expansion. Maragdus. Well, there's a place with uh, four there, but we've already mined it. That's two. That's two, yeah. Okay, engineering research. Uh, Plasteel armor space torpedoes. Space torpedoes. Fusion missiles, though. Um, plasteel armor. Uh, the the Kerbals are essentially defensive. Mystery goo. I guess mystery goo, yeah. We need mystery goo. Found. Okay. Um, yeah, they're, they're essentially defensive, so maybe plasteel armor or fusion missiles. I think... Hmm. Hold on a sec. Pause. Let me deal with the anomaly, and then let's take a look at our ship options to see what makes sense. Sackis 2A. Impressive structures litter a small area on the, sur on the surface of Sackis 2A, practically begging for some archaeological work. Research. Ship designer. Okay, let's say we were building... Uh, oh, let's just upgrade our Bronco Destroyer. Well, we could use rail guns. That'll put our damage to 14.3. What's coil gun? That's less. And the normal nuclear missiles is only 10.9. Seems like the real gun is the thing to do. It's sort of like a combination between rockets and... But it's not really a projectile weapon though. So it says average damage. So uh, small is 5 to 19, medium 11 to 39. I'll just keep that in mind. Let's see, what about this stuff here? Fission, fusion... Well, we can. We, we should definitely switch to fusion now. And we ha we have to in order to supply power for those things. Okay, now we've got a lot of fusion reactors. We could use level 3 armor. We've only got level 2 armor here. Nah, uh, not enough power. We could maybe swap one of the armor... A lot of the deflectors for armor. Bronco. Oh, I know. Since we've got a lot of Kraken worshippers here. Kraken Bane. We'll call this the Kraken Bane class. Let's make sure our thrusters are the best. Wait. Uh, it, it confuses me because the no is on the side I normally expect yes on. That's really annoying. Okay, so that's a Kraken Bane class, but I don't know if I should have the armor in place of the deflectors, or whether I should just go all deflectors on it. Okay, well now we can take a look at the technology and go... Well, Plasticeal Armor is something that would be an upgrade for us. And he's got a materials benefits, so let's research that. Okay, now we've got one less Frontier Outpost. So, we've got a frontier outpost here at Maragdus, which is good because of those guys. Akmal and Palmar. It's really our frontier that we do have the frontier outposts at. That is our frontier. So is this. But perhaps we could lay claim to something. 
Now this world has research opportunities here. There are anomalies here. But we could just uh, go ahead and research those anomalies now. The structures on Sackis 2A are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Darod Kerman notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from, and that to the builder's alien eyes, this might have been a cutting edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless, to us Kerbals, it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young and let them amuse themselves. Intriguing! So we got society research and engineering research. Very good. And it's got to continue on its way researching that system, and then we will proceed. Is there a particularly lucrative system that we should put a frontier outpost? Maybe Hamcad. Beer is pretty close. To oh, it is within our space. Oh, excellent. Let's send a construction ship there to capture those energy credits. Uh, what are you? You're a construction ship. Go there. Um, now, uh, let, let me be more specific. Build that mining station. How are our baby kerbals doing, in fact? You guys producing a lot of baby kerbals? It's taking a while. It's a baby kerbal there. We can clear the active volcanoes, though. Clear. 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 Okay, we can clear those. How about a new moho? Yeah. Clear that. We are clearing all the volcanoes. Sauron will have no place to hide. System survey complete. So I'm going to... Ooh, a research institute would be really good, but we can only build that when there's a planetary capital on the planet. Well, I will get... Uh, well, that's got engineering, so we need science. Basic science lab. This one... We'll eventually build a Batherium power plant there, I think. Gonna build a regular power plant there. Nothing to clear there or on Kerbin. Okay. Darag Kerbin leveled up. System surveyed. Okay, uh, so science ship at Sakis. Proceed to Ramser. And there is an ocean world on Sakis 2C that we can we can send a colony to. But we've got our five planets right now. System survey complete. Oh, system survey complete. All right, good timing. So you were way over there. I'm gonna bring you all the way back to investigate Lyseria, but first we're going to move our fleet there because there are bad guys I know. Um, actually, let's have our fleet go to Kerbal, meet up with the with the first fleet, and then we'll go on mass. After five, you just... Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I turned them into sectors. Maybe I should plan a sector out now. I mean, it makes sense to have a sector... A sector down here, I guess. We'll... we'll uh, build a sector around New Moho. Gigantic skeleton. What was pre previously thought to be assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere of Ramsir 1 have been identified as the massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated as 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that Ramsir 1 could have supported life on that scale at any point in the planet's history. Science officer Darad Kerman has prepared a special research project to delve further into this mystery. Fascinating. Situation log updated. Okay, well, um... Yeah, I think we should investigate a gigantic skeleton. Can we build ships with that technology? Um, okay, so we need to actually have the ship there. We are about to go to Lyseria, which we have so far avoided, even though it's really close to our own territory. Okay, a class 12 asteroid orbits this planet. The small planetoid's orbit appears far too stable for its presence to be a natural occurrence. Hmm... Yes, please do investigate this this asteroid, so-called asteroid. Okay, so we will have a battle. 
We are underpowered compared to that station, but it is a station, so I'm hopeful. Wait, the third fleet? Oh, our admiral perished. No, no, abort, abort, abort. Oh, admiral Danlock Kerman died at the age of 79. Oh, what a horrible time for him to perish. Okay, Gilger Kerman, better at evasion, evasion, leader lifespan. So we don't have the 20% hull point benefit. Well, uh, evasion 10%, evasion 15%, emergency FTL damage minus 25. Well, let's recruit uh, the admiral that will keep our ships safe, right? Yeah, what what a storied Kerbal, I mean, essential to our success so far. No distinguishing features were found on the small asteroid that had seemingly been towed into orbit around Romser 4. Science officer Dara Kerman is requesting new orders. Oh, well... Okay, so Ramsir 4. Well, uh, you don't need new orders. You've already got new orders. Alright. Back to our battle under uh, soon underway, yes. We should definitely build more stuff. We probably need more ships anyway. We've got a ship capacity of 33. We've really been skimping on it. Hostile fleet Kraken Bane Destroyer. We'll have Dunia build one too. They're expensive destroyers. Their upkeep is huge. Oh, that, those are ships. Uh oh, they they weren't uh, they weren't a station after all. I thought they were just sitting there, and they were a station, but they're actually ships. That could be trouble. We've lost a destroyer. They've lost a the ship, though. Seems like we're winning, but we're gonna lose another destroyer soon. Oh wow, the KSP Moho, some number or another, is in trouble. Can we defeat another space amoeba before it, uh, it perishes? Oh, not right now. Okay, it's one against one. Half hull space amoeba against a destroyer with about two thirds of its hull. No, don't go away. Great, fine. Just hold on a sec, peoples. Ah, uh, it's down to a third of its shield and a third of its hull points, and the space amoeba has still got about a quarter left. That space amoeba is punching right through the shields. No, uh, re re retreat. Retreat. Oh, he died. Okay, anomaly. Romseer 5. A uh, small cargo pod has been left to drift in space above this gas giant. It's been captured by the planet's gravity well and will eventually be pulled into its atmosphere. Well, research it. Ah, so many deaths. Gilgar Kerman, we've only known him for such a short time. Let us get a new admiral. Recruitment cost is reduced. Complete. Uh, I, w I wish they knew when to evade. Okay, well, I guess the one better at evasion. These two are just self-serving kind of things. Okay, physics research. We need... I like cold fusion. Red laser might be good. We could get Betharian Power Plant 3, but we haven't even upgraded them to 2 yet. Well, I think we did finish upgrading them to 2. But I want cold fusion reactors. Okay, well let's combine our fleets. And then we can go attack those space amoeba. That's that. Those are the Kraken, I swear. The space, the space amoeba are definitely the Kraken. Just coming close to them killed our best admiral, and then uh, they, they've killed off another admiral, too. Abandoned cargo pod. Discarded cargo pod was left by someone in the upper atmosphere of Romsir 5. 
somehow escape the notice of other spacefarers, its decaying orbit means it would have been lost in the gas giant's crust crushing atmosphere. Yeah. Within another few years, when the crew of the KSP Ike 7 unsealed the pod, they found a stash of alien jewelry made of precious metals. So we got two, 425 energy credits. Remarkable. Okay, well that's a bounty alright. I think we need to build a new sector, but I haven't really developed the systems yet. Well, we'll, uh, we'll add some physics to it. We need more physics. We need more physics. I'll upgrade the power plant. This one I wanted to build a Batherian power plant. Yeah. And here we are upgrading, okay. Planetary administration, we can't build a planetary capital. We need 10 population, which we could theoretically get on this planet at least. Okay, technology research, plastic armor. Uh, let us get... Oh, advanced real gun. Cruisers! Well, heck. What army? We haven't really used our army in particular. System survey complete. But yeah, maybe cruisers. Maybe advanced real guns. He's better at advanced real gun. Let's let's go with better weaponry. We did armor last time. Okay. What was the other thing? Deal offer. Star charge for star charts. Build Ross hegemony. Um, I wish there was a counter offer option. I could do with a counter offer option. Um, I'm gonna say no. We're probably better at exploring than those guys, right? I mean, we're the Kerbals. They're they're definitely not Kerbals. Well, they're green. Maybe green indicates how good you are at exploring. I'm gonna decline that. I don't trust them. So what happens when I, if I colonize the sixth planet, it would just give me some sort of detriment, right? It would, there's something would happen where uh, I wouldn't be so well off. Is that right? Or is it like, sorry, you can't build it at all. But we brought overwhelming force this time. Three Kraken Bane class destroyers. Here we go. They've got real guns. Oh, they killed him! Wow, powerful stuff, these Kraken Bane class. Okay, our continued studies of the massive skeletal remains on Ramsey 1 have managed to shed some light on how the creature ended up on the planet. There are very faint residual energy readings that indicate some kind of dimensional portal existed briefly towards the rear of the skeleton. Science officer Dorod Kerman theorizes that the creature passed through this gateway from another dimension, only to quickly perish in the hostile environment of Ramsir 1. Why it did this and where it came from are questions that may never be answered. Astounding. Okay, so Dorod Kerman gains experience and we gain physics research. Okay, we have another time project there, but first we will we will survey the system. Science ship, survey the system, and then once you get to the system, after you do that, you may research that project. Oh, uh, we at least have, uh, oh yes, we should build a solar panel network on that station. Also, we might as well upgrade it to level 2 and level 3 as well. Maybe even level four. Uh, Corvette assembly yards, observatory, cost maintenance. Well, more output. Um, let's see. We've really got a lot of science output here. Do we have an observatory? Yes, we do. Okay. And let's get destroyer assembly yards there. We're running out of uh, minerals, though. Well, not really running out, but we have less than before. This doesn't have much science output. How about Legoland? Legoland seems to have more science output. New Moho has science output. Actually, we could probably build something to enhance that. Incoming transmission. Yeah, let's build this basic science lab. Deal offer, guarantee independence. Oh, sure. 
Yeah, we can guarantee independence. I guess that means we'll have to fight on their side. It's not really an alliance, though. I think it just means that we're not gonna attack them and conquer them. I mean, or... I don't know how it works. We'll find out. It seems like a nice thing to do. They haven't gotten into any wars with anybody, so... Okay, sensor echoes have indicated the presence of some kind of an unidentified object deep within the atmosphere of this gas giant. Not again. No, sorry. Okay, well, research that. There are many dead kraken. Yes, actually, we were, we we're going to be researching a dead kraken in Lyseria soon. I think we do have to exploit more of our mineral resources. So, let's start off in Vakradil. With Odin. I read that as Odin. Okay, so construction ship, build me a mining station at Odin. How's research coming along? Two months to manifest destiny. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, just for the border expansion, not because I'm, I'm thrilled with the idea of manifest destiny, but still. Border expansion is nice. Seems like we can get some energy credits and some engineering research there. We should probably build an outpost there. Okay, the Science Junior 13 has picked up a strange energy signature coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of Lyseria 1. It appears to originate from a structure of some kind, possibly the remains of an orbital station, but the atmospheric pressure makes it impossible to approach. Nevertheless, scans of the unique signature have yielded a large amount of valuable physics data. Great, physics research gained. And the... Lyseria science ship can proceed to surveying the system still. And hopefully we can send them on to this one and this one, just in case there's something valuable there. This is Zunur, but that's within the Ab Abevni Republic. These are not within any place, or that one. Yeah. Negotiations for appointing a new director are underway. Oh, we've got an election going on. Uh, so Werner von Kerman, who doesn't look like Werner von Kerman for some reason, uh, is 78 now, and now we've got elections between uh, Werner, Alcel Kerman. Alcel's pretty old too, though. Alcel's pretty old. Jenkin Kerman and Dorod Kerman, who's also quite old. I mean, they're the older commanders of our. I mean, Dorod's 72. Alcel is 68. I mean, I'd rather support the one that's going to last the 80, uh, the 40 years, not 80, 40 years. That's their term. Okay, so sensor echoes have indicated the presence of some kind of another event. Okay, another gas giant object. Research that. Sure. Well, we'll have to see. Manifest Destiny done. Empire leader capacity. We do need some more leaders. We do need some more leaders. Habitability plus 5% is also very, very important. Oh, removing toxic kelp is really important. Dang it! We need all these things. Well, I'm going to... Uh, the toxic kelp is for where? I think it's for Dunia. I mean, that's the place that I want to make our new... Well, dense jungle is more important for Dunia. Um, new Moho needs toxic kelp removal. Ooh, Jeb! Jeb needs serious toxic kelp removal. Okay, Jeb might be our new capital, I think, then. Let's, let's have toxic kelp removal for the sake of Jeb. Okay, Werner von Kerman will rule until the next election. I don't think he's got to survive that long, but okay, they stuck with Werner. Okay, toxic kelp removal. Okay, Science Junior 13 has picked up a strange energy signature coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of Lyseria 2. Appears to originate from a structure of some kind, possibly the remains of an orbital station, and that, but the atmospheric pressure makes it impossible to approach. Nevertheless, scans of the unique signature have in yielded a large amount of physics data. We've seen that one before. Uh, Werner died! It, it, just after he won the election, Werner died. 
Uh, we have elected blank to become our the next ruler. Oh, the system's confused. Okay, now it's between Jenkin, Alcel, Dorod, and Jean. Uh, I'd really like us to elect somebody who's gonna last. Um, Jean's old. Jenkin is the only one who isn't old. How old is Jenkin? Is Jenkin really old? Oh, he's available. Oh, he's 68, though. Oh, I should definitely do something about him. Uh, well, that science ship would be nice. Oh, he had the rocketry research, right. Um, oh, they elected Alcel. Okay, I didn't have to uh, do anything. Okay, fleet expansion. She wants fleet expansion. Okay, so we need a new leader for this science ship. Research speed would be good. Survey speed, that's best, yeah. 42 year old Ergi Kerman. Ergi Kerman. Okay, so she's in there. We've had elections. Long live Alcel Kerman. I actually don't know how long she'll live, but hopefully for a while. Okay, we've built that mine. Where else can we do? So? Oh, Zoldar is within our. Okay, excellent. We've we've got Zoldar now. Let us build research stations. Ah, and Alcel Kerman is giving us a discount on building research stations and other stations. Okay, we've got cold fusion, folks. We've got cold fusion antimatter. Ooh, improved deflectors though. Colony development speed. Improved deflectors is cheap. We should get it quickly. Construction complete. Uh, I don't know how long genius Gene Kerman will last though. He's doing a great job there. Okay, Legoland has finished construction. Debris analyzed. Okay, how about uh, we thought about getting an observatory here? Oops, let's build one. That will use. Uh, that will definitely have a research lab. Okay, how's Jeb doing? No, uh, not growing very fast. Not growing very fast. Hopefully soon we'll be able to clear out the toxic kelp though. I'm thinking of building another frontier station in Sturil here. Because that's some good resources. That one's in their territory, so I can't get that. On the other hand, uh... Ooh! Absaja Min is barely within our territory. What happened? I thought it was firmly in our territory. Okay, I want to colonize that. Shoot. It's like barely in there now. At least, uh, Hamcat is now in our territory. We need to send a construction ship there. Okay, research complete. Okay, we can remove the toxic kelp. Excellent. Now, Biolab 2, pets, amoeba flagella, regenerative hull tissue. We must have the pets. They make people happy. And Kerbals need to be happy. Okay, I think we need to get another couple of colony ships built, and then we will create a new sector. Oh. Uh, oh, we're lacking. Wow. We really need those minerals. Okay. Come on, guys. Get us some minerals. Okay. Colony ship being built. And we'll colonize Absaja Min so that we don't, like, lose our grasp over it. I think New Kerbal will be its own sector. With the Faranus Black Hole, Maragdus, on border with these guys. Okay. We've got some science ships not doing anything. Lyseria. What's it like over there? Not much, not much here. Not many resources. Can you jump over here? Yes! You can jump over there. Evading hostile uh oh, fleet. hostiles. Space Amoeba, another three ships of Space Amoeba. Oh well. Regor. Okay, we will avoid Regor. Can you eventually go over here? Evading hostile Yeah, fleet. okay. We'll let you retreat first. 
You know, with this huge store of energy credits, maybe I don't need so many er energy credits. Maybe I should focus on getting more minerals now. I've really uh, taken a back backseat on minerals in order to get those energy credits. We need to make sure we exploit all the minerals here and here. So that when we create a sector, we don't have to bother with them. Okay, yes. I want you to... Uh, Build mining sta- yeah, yeah, let's just mass build mining stations at Maragdus. There we go, we've got quite a queue. Okay, that construction ship will take care of that. The science ships are still doing what they're doing. Technology- oh no! Just when I turned to a Gene Kerman died! <sighs> it's horrible. Can how, how are we gonna get a new genius just like him? No, we really can't. Lisa Kerman's good at military theory. At least Dankan Kerman's got research pl speed plus 5%. But nobody's gonna be like Jean. Oh, another death! Assisa Kerman! Oh, it's just horrible. And Baron just said, don't kill any more Kerbals. Well, I didn't kill them, they just died. Anomaly research speed plus 50%. Lana Kerman. Well, then we can assign her to one of the science ships. Uh, which of the people on the science ship ships are uh, good at... Okay, rocketry materials. Well, uh, that's not on the ship. Voidcraft. Okay, we will reassign Dorod Kerman. He's a little bit old. Complete. Actually, we will switch you guys off. You guys are in the wrong places. Uh, Dorod Kerman, you should be there. Yeah. Ooh, Ergi Kerman's got a custom AI assistant. But she's better at anomalies and surveys and such, such so we'll leave her to do that. Okay, so uh, taking a look at our science ship, Lana Kerman can take care of that. Wait, is the colony ship hanging around? Oh, the colony ship's there. We just couldn't see it. Okay. I don't know what happens if we try and make a colony when we don't have enough colony room. Research complete. We need to make another sector anyway. But, yeah, let's make a colony at this Absajamin. It's still pretty cramped, though. Because, wait, active volcanoes, we can clear those. And toxic help, we can clear those. Okay, so we should be able to clear these things. Anomaly found. It's got a strong magnetic field and wild storms. But wild storms gives a better uh, physics output. And the strong magnetic field does, too. Okay, but there's no easy place for food. We'll just go here then. Okay, something moves with near purpose down on Antak Ram 2. Okay, research. I don't know if... Uh, well, let's see what happens when I try and make a colony there without having directly controlled planets room. Just out of curiosity. And then uh, I need to figure out, you know, the sector situation. I've only... I, I did, in a previous save, create a sector. So I sort of know the idea, but I need to know what I can and can't do with sectors. Okay, a rivalry has been declared between the Avnevi, uh, Bevni Republic and the uh, Gagasi Star Nation. We've got that anomaly that we are researching. We need to pick research. Um, the better power plants. Oh, proper shields. Hmm, instead of what we've got right now. Red Shard Thrower, though, is a very powerful thing, apparently. Nothing fits Dorod Kerman's specialty. Oh, one species native to Antakram 2 has, according to the KSB Ike 7 orbiting the planet, achieved a tentative mastery of the planet. Ooh. Science Officer Lana Kerman proposes that we should monitor their development closely. Yeah, uh, absolutely. We need to make sure to do that. Let's pause and actually get that going. Advanced combat rolls. Fire rate, ship hull points. Oh, that's for the AI. Ooh. Okay, well, let's get those. That seems important for our ships. Empire leader capacity, I like. Xeno Zoo? Ah, uh, probably not that important just yet. We need to find pets first. Dense jungle we can clear. 
That's Empire Leader Capacity. Leader Pool Size plus one would be good. Uh, we could unlock Arctic Road Colonization. There's so many possibilities, it's mind-boggling. I want to be able to oh, colonize more places? Jeez. I guess that should be the priority, but then clearing dense jungle could be important too. Let's do that. Now what do I do with these a a arthropoids? I'm gonna build an observation station I assume, is what we should do. Where's our nearest construction ship? They're probably pretty... F no, uh, this one's pretty close. Alright, we'll... We'll, uh, well, th that's outside of our borders though. Hmm. I guess we can't really build an uh, observation post outside of our borders. Oh well, we'll let it continue its business. And that is still doing its job. Okay. Complete. Okay, it is now showing up here. World is being colonized. So what's gonna happen? I don't know. Armor plus... well, that's just an empire modifier. That'd be sort of nice. Gauss cannon. That's pretty advanced. I think I need a defense... maybe... I don't know if a defense platform... I've never seen the use of a defense platform. Let me just get the... the overall plus five percent armor. Seems good. Research complete. And now here... Frontier Clinic. I'm surprised I haven't unlocked that yet. Leader lifespan plus 10 years. Food plus 10. That seems more basic. Slapia. Uh, that's our new world, Slapia. We need a better name, folks. There's something other than Slapia. Slapia is not acceptable. No, I, I already know one. I got one. Rock a Max. Oh, no, come on, let me do this. Rock a Max. Construction complete. Yes, Rock a Max the world. Rock a Max is almost done. I don't know what's going to happen when I have 6 out of 5. Probably revolt? You think so? I can't save. So, I mean, uh, it's auto save. Uh, it's uh, Iron Man mode. So. Colony established. Colony established. Okay, 6 out of 5. Above the limit. Monthly influence minus 10%. Energy credits minus 10%. So that's, that's the penalty. Um, hold on. Oh, dang it, I wanted to read that. But I think that's the only penalty. It's not too bad, actually. But let's create a new sector. And we're going to do it around Dunia. Missing... Sectors missing resources? At least one of our sectors is missing resources... Se Hold on, pa pause. Sectors that lack energy will not gain resources from... Oh, they have to have their own independent resource base. Okay, now it's okay. That's interesting. We'll give Holly to them. Oh, they, but the Holly's got pets. No, no. We need to secure those pets. Jaffon and Zoldar. So that's the new Dunia sector. Oh, there are pets over here, too. You know, Zaphon doesn't have to go. We just need a small area here. Okay. That'll be the Dunia sector, and now we're only in control of five, so we don't have the penalties. But they give you a portion of their resources. Well, I mean, it's better this way. Manly Kerman will be in charge of Rockamax. We need to uh, give a, a governor to Dunia, right? We need a good governor for them. Food, hydroponics, farm, build cost. Valentina Kerman, Incoming yes. Transmission. Valentina Kerman. Wait, that's not what I wanted. Uh, Dania. Valentina Kerman, okay. Okay, diplomatic proposal, non aggression pledge. Felnol United Systems. I don't like them. But, you know, they're pretty big. Hold on. See, uh, we're these guys here. Felnol is this one. I'm gonna decline that. Well, 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 I mean, ten years. It's not that long a time. 
Oh, all right. We're Kerbals. We're not gonna pick a fight. Let's go back to Jeb. Clear that. Clear that. Okay, Jeb's all clear now. Well, except for the dangerous wildlife. I mean, yeah, clicking on them, we can see happiness, base happiness. Yeah, I got that. No, I need a summary is what I'm saying. I need an at a glance, where are my people's unhappy so that I can send happiness to them. That sort of thing. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap it up here today. I think we've made progress. We've created our first sector. We, we're a pretty large empire here, or program, space program. We're a large space program. Uh, but we've got a lot more to do. We've got places that haven't even been discovered yet. Lots of galaxy to work with. And we will continue expanding. We have received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that call themselves the Confederation of Kiramulan... Kiramulan? Kiramulan Realms. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on communications of another empire we're in contact with. Okay, there they are. Karamulans. Confederation, we are a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedoms of our citizens regardless of their species. Our elected leader, President John Neal, we finally see a president, hosts for a long and fruitful relationship. We're delighted to meet you.